Hello mathematicians. Today we see a nice uh, real analysis problem regarding sequence of functions which is asked in NBHM PhD 2020. Uh, we define a sequence of function fn from r to r by fn of x equal to x by 1 plus nx square. The options are this sequence of function converges uniformly on r, converges uniformly on closed interval 1 comma b and it's a derivative sequence. It is converges uniformly on r and uh, it's a derivative sequence converges uniformly on closed interval 1 comma b. These are the four options. Okay. So now how to check the uniform convergence of a sequence of function? We have a nice result. Suppose fn is a sequence of function from e to r and fn converges to f point wise. So you should first know the point wise limit. Then we form a number sequence <coughs> an. So what is an is a real number. How, uh, what is a n? So now f n is a function. F is a function. Both are real valued functions. So you can form the difference. F n x, f n minus f is a one function defined from e to r. And so you can take the modulus also. So overall this is a single function. Modulus of a function. Okay. So for that function you look at the supremum. Okay. Supremum need not exist. Suppose if it exists. Then we call it that number a n. Okay. So you note that there is a n fixed n here. So we get a n a n. So then the result is f n tend to f uniformly if n only if the number sequence a n converges to 0. Okay. So this is the result we are going to use. Let's see how to use this result. Now uh, <clears throat> so this the our given function is f n of x equal to x by 1 plus n x square. So we want to uh, we want to first understand the point wise limit. Okay, what is the uh, point wise limit such that f n tend to f? What is the limit function? So now you fix any real number x. Okay, then you so how do we find the point wise limit? You fix an x, then you let n tend to infinity. That is a point wise limit that will be f of x. Okay. Then if when you keep changing x in r, you get various f of x that will be the limit function. Okay. So you fix an x, then this, uh, this these things are fixed numbers. Then in the n is in the denominator. So as n tend to infinity, this thing goes to 0 for a fixed x. Okay. So we conclude that fn converges to the constant function 0 point wise. Okay. So now we know the limit function. So we come to the test. It, so if you substitute uh, 0 in place of f, now to check uniform continuity, you have to find the supremum of modulus of fn of x. Okay. So uh, let's see how to find the supremum of modulus of fn of x. So we find the first we find the uh, supremum of fn of x. Well, let's not worry about modulus. Let's find the supremum of fn of x. Okay, so how to find the maximum or supremum of a function? Uh, so we do we know how to do this in calculus. Uh, so first we take the derivative and the equate the derivative to zero. We find some point. We find uh, the critical points and we equate. We substitute that. So at that points only we get the minimum or maximum to the function. Okay. So now you substitute those points. So if when you get the maximum value, that is a maximum. When you get the lesser value, that is a minimum. That is our idea. So I calculate for this function f n of x. I am calculating its derivative. So the derivative will be uh, one, one. So you use u by v whole prime. Okay. So u by v whole prime equal to v du minus u dv by v square. Use that formula. So you will get, uh, so this is equal to 1 minus n x square by 1 plus n x square the whole square. This is the derivative f1 prime of x. Okay. Now, so f1 prime of x is equal to 0 means that the numerator has to 0. Okay. Denominator cannot 0. So you get 1 minus n x square equal to 0. So you get x equal to plus or minus 1 by root n. So you substitute this point and you will see that the maximum of the function fn of uh, x so is uh, 1 by root n okay so you get the plus 
1 by root n minus 1 by root n. These are the points at, uh, at which the function can take minimum and maximum. So, you have substitute that values in this function. Then you can, you know what is the maximum. So, once you know maximum, uh, so this is your an. Okay. So, if this is an, note that this is already uh, converges to 0. Therefore, limit n tend to infinity. So, here I have used the notation m and here an. So, both are same. Okay. So, supremum fn of x, it, this is uh, converges to 0. So, we conclude that by this test, fn tend to uh, the limit function, constant function 0 uniformly. Note that we have proved this result for a arbitrary real number x. Okay, so fn tend to f uniformly on r. So, that is true. If fn tend to f uniformly on r, then it is uh, fn tend to f uniformly in closed interval 1 comma b also. Okay, uh, if it is uniformly convergent in uh, bigger set, then it is uniformly convergent in the smaller set also. So, maybe some places I said uniformly continuous. So, if I said uniformly continuous, please uh, uh, understand it in the sense of convergence, uniformly convergence. Okay, so next we have to understand its derivative. Derivative can also be uh, treated similarly. Uh, let's see. So, what is the derivative? We just found the derivative. So, derivative is fn prime of x is 1 minus nx square by 1 plus nx square the whole square, whole square. Now, if you substitute x equal to 0. Now, I want to understand the point wise limit. So, yeah, suppose fn prime converges to some g. What is g? That is what I want. So, I substitute uh, First, I want to understand what is g of 0. Okay, so I substitute 0 here. So, everything will be 0. So, I get fn prime of 0 equal to, so fn prime of 0 equal to 1 for all n. Okay, fn prime of 0 is for 1 for all n. Therefore, limit n tend to infinity fn prime of 0 will be constant sequence 1. So, we get g of 0 equal to 1. Okay, so limit n tend to infinity f1 prime of x equal to 1 if x equal to 0. So for x not equal to 0, note that you have a n, you have a n square because of this whole square. So it tend to 0. So the limit function g of x is 1 if x equal to 0, 0 otherwise this is not a continuous function, but this is a continuous function. So if a sequence of continuous function converges to a uh, point is converges to a discontinuous function, then the convergence cannot be uniform because uniform limit of a sequence of continuous function is continuous. Okay. Therefore, Fn prime does not converge uniformly on R because the point 0 creates problem. Okay. Because at the point 0 only the limit function is not continuous. Uh, now, so the third option is false. The convergence is unif not uniform in R, but in the option D, the converges uh, derivative converges uniformly on closed interval 1, 1 comma b is true okay see so note that uh, so how do you prove again you like uh, so you you recall how we, how did we proved uh, uh, fn of x by x by 1 plus nx square converges to 0 uniformly you use the same trick you use the derivative and you find the maximum value, take that as a an sequence and you will see that it is converges to 0. So, the same idea, you can use it for the derivative sequence also. So, derivative is uniformly continuous and closed interval 1 comma b. Okay. Okay, guys. So, if you learned something new from this video, please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you.